morning children. Are you ready for our fun Friday exercises? Great, let's hop to it. Let's jump like a cricket. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you remember what's up next? Yes, we're going to crawl like spiders. Go down, push yourself up. One, two, three.
Great. Let's get started then. Who can tell me what day today is? Today is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Friday is our fifth day of the week. Let's count it out. Monday is first. Tuesday is second. Wednesday is third. Thursday is fourth. And Friday is fifth. Our fifth day. Let's clap it out. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's clap out the word Friday. Friday. Very good, guys. Now tell me, if Friday is our last working day of the week, what is Saturday and Sunday? Very good. Saturday and Sunday is our weekend. And Saturday is our sixth day of the week. And Sunday is our seventh day of the week. And then we start right back at Monday. So if today is Friday, yesterday was, very good, Thursday. And tomorrow will be, who can tell me what tomorrow is going to be? Yes, Saturday. And Saturday is weekend. Can you still remember our song, This Is The Way? Let's sing it together. One, two, three. This is the way we wash our clothes, wash our clothes, wash our clothes. This is the way we wash our clothes so early on a Monday morning. This is the way we iron our clothes, iron our clothes, iron our clothes. This is the way we iron our clothes so early on a Tuesday morning. Ooh, this is the way we wash the pot, wash the pot, wash the pot. This is the way we wash the pot so early on a Wednesday morning. This is the way we sweep the house, sweep the house, sweep the house. This is the way we sweep the house so early on a Thursday morning. This is the way we clean the house, clean the house, clean the house. This is the way we clean the house so early on a Friday morning. Mm, this is my favorite one. This is the way we bake our cake, bake our cake, bake our cake. This is the way we bake our cake. So early on a Saturday morning. <coughs> this is the way we go to church, go to church, go to church. This is the way we go to church so early on a Sunday morning. And can you remember, if you're happy and you know it, let's do it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And if you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three, shout hooray, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! Very good job, you guys. Did you know all of you, each and every one of you, is so very, very, very special? And we are changing so much here at the school to make sure that each and every one of you will be taken care of and so safe when you come here. Let's quickly have a look at our journey and not journey chart that we made yesterday. Let's have a look. Can you tell me how many journey pictures do we have? Let's count them. One, two. And how many children do we have on our journey side? One, 
two, three. One boy and two girls. Can you tell me what they're doing? Why are we saying that they're being dirty? The little boy is sneezing without covering his sneeze. And the one girl is coughing all over the other girl in her box and she's not covering her cough. Remember, cover your cough, cover your sneeze so that you don't spread the disease. Next, let's have a look at not germy. How many pictures that do we have that are not germy? Let's count them. One, two, three. And this one has got three children as well. Let's count them out. One, two, three. How many boys are there at the not germy? Very good. There are two little boys and one little girl. And why are they not germy? The little boy is sneezing into a tissue. But remember, if you want to sneeze or cough into a tissue, that's completely fine. But you need to throw away that tissue immediately and go and wash your hands afterwards. Who knows, well, how long are we supposed to wash our hands? At least 20 seconds, very good. And what's the little girl and the other little boy doing that are not germy? They are coughing into their elbows. Remember, we need to cough and sneeze like Batman. Can you help me to cough and sneeze like Batman? I'm going to put down there. It's fine. Can you help me to cough and sneeze like Batman? Grab that cape. Do you have that long black cape? Let's do it. One, two, three. Ha-choo! And another one. One, two, three. <coughs> we cough and sneeze like Batman. And that's so that we don't spread our germs. We keep them all to ourselves. Let's quickly go and have a look at some other fun things that you can do to protect yourself and the people around you. The Feeling Wells. Bibi, it's time for lunch. You need to wash your hands. Okay, Daddy. It is time to wash my hands. Okay, Daddy. Whoa, did you use any soap? Soap helps take the germs away. Oh, I forgot. I'll wash my hands again with soap. And make sure the water isn't too cold. Okay. First the water, then the soap, then more water. Done! <laughs> Ugh. BB, if you want to get rid of all the dirt and germs on your hands, you'll need to wash them for a little longer than that. How long? <laughs> a whole song long. Let's do it together. Hmm, okay. It is time to wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. Dirt and germs don't stand a chance. Germs, bye-bye. First the water, then the soap, and you scrub, rub-a-dub. Bubble, 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 bub. Rinse and dry. <laughs> <laughs> Lean hand, high five. Up top. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> oh. Colds can make you sneeze and cough. Thank goodness you can fight them off with help from an army of white blood cells in your body. Colds are kinds of viruses. Now as for what a virus is, well, they're little invaders taking over healthy cells. From cell to cell, they keep on spreading. Before you know it, you'll be getting sick. And you'll sniff or wheeze or cough or sneeze. It's awful, but that's all right because your body can defend itself. Your suffering will end with help from an army of white blood cells in your body. And the first stage is when cells called macrophages chew the virus till antigens abound. And those antigens kickstart the helper T cells to activate the B cells to make antibodies to slow the virus down. The helper T's also trigger killer T cells to fight cells the virus has infected. Your immune system is keeping you protected and gets you feeling in good health again. Like yourself again, all thanks to an army of white 
blood cells in your body But still remember, please cover your mouth when you cough uh, or sneeze uh, 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 huh. Now, I know that you guys all knew that you are very, very, very special But did you know that your fingerprints are so special that nobody in the whole wide world has a fingerprint like you? You are the only one that has a fingerprint like you. So today for our arts and crafts, we are going to make a handprint. And then you can take, I've got some black lipstick that I'm going to use. But you can use any color lipstick or you can use some paint or anything to color your fingerprint and make a fingerprint of it so that you can see your special and unique fingerprint. Are you ready? Great, let's have a look. Now what you're going to need for today's activity is the paper that's in your care package. You're going to need a pen, a pencil or a crayon, anything that you can use to trace your hand with. And you're going to need some lipstick or some paint, anything that you can use to make your fingerprint with. Are you ready? Let's have a look. You're going to put your picture down. Then you're going to use your hand as that you don't use that often. Your hand is harder to draw with. You're going to put it down on your paper and then your hand that you use to draw with a lot. My hand is my smart hand and my left hand is my not so smart hand. So I'm going to trace my left hand There you see, wow, my hands are quite big. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your paint or your lipstick, whatever you're using. And I think, let's start with our small pinky finger. And let's put other ones. Last one is my thumb. How many fingers do you have on one hand? Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers. So you're going to put down your one finger and make your fingerprint. And then your next finger. Third finger. Wash my hands to do to do to do wash my hands to do to do to do wash my hands to do to do to do wash my hands. Wow guys, I got black lipstick all over my hands. Oh my goodness. I hope you had fun making your own fingerprints and seeing just how special you are. I want to quickly play a song for you guys about how special you are. Then we're going to come back and read our story. I am special, I'm me. Are you ready? Let's go and have a look. I'm special.
special I'm me. Milo looked in the mirror and sighed a big sigh. Come on, Milo, we're going to be late, called Mom from up the stairs. Milo pressed his nose right up against the cool glass. What am I going to be today, he whispered to himself. At school, Milo and his friends were playing a jungle game. Please, can I be the lion, asked Milo. No, said Claire. You're not strong enough to be the king of the jungle. So Milo was a very sad monkey. When he got home, Milo peered into the mirror. Who can you see? asked Mom. A monkey, replied Milo quietly. Lucky you, said Mom. How fantastic to be able to swing through the trees with all your monkey friends. Oh yeah, said Milo grinning and Mum making monkey faces. The next day, the children were playing pirates. Please, can I be the captain? asked Milo. No, said Ben. You're too short. The captain has to be tall, so Milo had to be a deckhand. What's wrong? asked Mum that evening. I wish I was tall like a pirate captain, said Milo. I think you're just perfect, said Mum. Just right for climbing up to the top of the sails to be the lookout. Wow, said Milo, smiling. I never thought of it like that. The next day the children were playing princesses and princesses. Please, can I be a prince? asked Milo. No, said Jason. The prince is handsome like me, so Milo was an unhappy knight. Later that afternoon, Milo gazed into the mirror. Hello there, Milo, said Mum. Who can you see looking back at you? I can see a knight, said Milo. Terrific, said Mum. All oh, that shining armour, and you must be brave because only the bravest men get chosen to be knights. Really? said Milo, a little surprised. Definitely, said Mum. Cool, said Milo, while pretending to fight a dragon. The next day, the children were playing spacemen and aliens. I'd like to be an astronaut, said Milo, excited. No, said Eloise. Astronauts can't wear glasses because their helmets won't fit. So Milo was a little green alien. Back at home, Milo gazed at his reflection in the mirror. Do I look like an alien? he asked. You look just like you, said Mum. Two eyes and nose and a mouth, but different from everyone else. And that's what makes you special. That's what makes you my Milo. Mum put her arms around him and answered, And in any ways, aliens are so lucky to be able to bounce around in space, speaking a secret language. That's true, Milo smiled. Bing, bling, dock, dock. He said, bouncing around his bedroom, trying to catch his mum. The next day, the children were playing under the sea. I'm going to be a shark, said Alex. I know what I'm going to be, said Milo. I think I'd be a good stingray, hiding in the sand and swimming out to surprise people. I could make them jump. The children all stared at Milo. Great idea, said Ben. Brilliant, said Claire. Can I be one too? asked Alex. Milo smiled from ear to ear and all the children played stingrays under the sea the, for the rest of the day. But that was a great game, Milo, said Ben. Let's play it again tomorrow. Milo smiled, the brightest smile as he had ever smiled. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and the song. 
before we go, let's sing our two songs. Are you ready? Our first one is This is the Way. This is the way we wash our clothes, wash our clothes, wash our clothes. This is the way we wash our clothes so early on a Monday morning. This is the way we iron our clothes, iron our clothes, iron our clothes. This is the way we iron our clothes so early on a Tuesday morning. This is the way we wash the pot, wash the pot, wash the pot. This is the way we wash the pot so early on a Wednesday morning. This is the way we sweep the house, sweep the house, sweep the house. This is the way we sweep the house so early on a Thursday morning. This is the way we clean the house, clean the house, clean the house. This is the way we clean the house so early on a Friday morning. This is the way we bake our cake, bake our cake, bake our cake. This is the way we bake our cake so early on a Saturday morning. This is the way we go to church, go to church, go to church. This is the way we go to church so early on a Sunday morning. Now let's see if you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, clap your feet. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! That is all that we have time for today. And that's our theme for this week, guys. I can't wait to see you next week. Have an amazing weekend. Bye!